Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel Deb Chanel's 40th World And we're going to be talking about Kenya Moore once again She's making the headlines You know she's over there competing and dancing with the stars With Brandon looking all cute and stuff And she's going around here telling people Pretty much telling people that she was going to choose dancing with the stars over uh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta if she had to make a choice. But that choice never prevailed itself, so she didn't have to make it. But people that has eyes to hear, I mean eyes to see and ears to hear, know in their heart of paws. Kenya would have passed up dancing with the stars and got her tail back on over there to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Where her major money and great advertisement is given to her on that particular platform okay dancing with the stars is going to be there for only a what season and then they're going to get rid of you the real housewives of atlanta keep coming back season after season after season and you're premiered in at least 10 of the episodes or eight of the episodes eight ten okay eight to ten but hi, yeah, baby. <laughs> can you know she can shave the crap out of anybody she feels like it. She can give them light shade. She can give them some shade. She can give them heavy duty shade. She can give them the whole damn tree shade. Okay. <laughs> That's just how Kenya is made up. And it looks well on her. I can't say she wears her sarcasm well. And she can dish it out as well as take it. Except for when she had the little uh, situation with Mark and her whole wedding. Her whole separation. Her whole divorce proceedings. You know, that just drove us all crazy and mad. The ones that really cared for Kenya to a certain degree. And really didn't want to see anything bad happened to her with this marriage and how it was making her feel and how it was making her being shown in the public eye of you know mark being a heel or ass and she's pretty much not being able to talk about it and when she talk about it she make a fool out of herself by trying to defend him and saying she still love him and it's my baby dad and uh, you know this is too much it's too much I mean, parents need to stop putting kids before uh, they think their happiness uh, should take the backstage. But when the parents aren't happy, how are you going to make the children happy? You know what I'm saying? And I'm, t I'm saying it uh, from a perspective of being a divorcee. You got to make yourself happy. And then the rest of us will fall in line however it may fall in line. But you can't stay with somebody or be around somebody that truly makes you unhappy. Or don't feel the same um respect and giving you the same dignity and love that you necessarily need from them so can't be in a relationship by yourself even though two people are there but it seems like you're doing everything solo you pretty much are by yourself but kenya moore was asked by et okay because she's getting a lot of press now because you know she's in dancing with the stars and everybody's trying to get their little Whew. Time in with her to basically, you know, interview her, see where she's going, see where her head's at with the entertainment field, where she wants to go from the Real Housewives of Atlanta because it seems like the boat is sinking. All the heavy hitters are leaving or were asked to leave and everything's being revamped, reshaped, restructured over there at the um, Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. And they're just trying to see if Kenya would dish some dirt, some inside tea, you know, making their ratings go up on their social media platform outlet, however you want to do it. But they were asking her how she felt about Portia Williams exiting the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And they, you know, hyped it up like it's an exclusive. That's a boy. They gonna make Portia a billionaire for it's over with. She getting talked about before her, her uh, pursuit of Portia segment even airs. It is bringing so much publicity Portia Williams' way. She can't help but blow up. Kind of, sort of like Kim Zosiac. You know, she had her uh, followers and supporters. 
and they were kind of, you know, trying to help out with the ratings and, you know, by tuning in and giving their feedback. And, you know, some people were bloggers go on their, you know, YouTube channels or Instagram account and, and talk, talk, talk about what they felt about the segment they had just seen of Kim Zosiak and her tardy for the party thing. It just totally went on and on and on. Woo, child. I mean, it was, it was kind of cute the first couple of uh, seasons, but then it started to be like predictable so we're hoping Porsche's little spinoff um because it's good it's getting a lot of traction I'm, I'm excited and I don't even know what it's gonna be like but just seeing Porsche try to give it to us with no chaser just giving us the whole alcoholic beverage full strength with no chaser I'm here for it ready for it and can't wait to review it okay but you know it's my business. I can say what I want to say on my channel. I can cuss a little bit or a lot if I choose to. And I can use the Lord in the same sentence. Okay? Because one without sin cast the first stone. Okay? Because all things do work together for the good. For those who love the Lord. And, you know, you can get in some messy situations. You can be deemed messy. But then the Lord still find favor. So don't come on my platform telling me, oh, you cuss too much. Or, oh, how you going to use the same sentence with the Lord in it with some cuss words? Let the Lord judge me. You don't have to judge me, okay? I ain't the commentary here. Like it, love it, or just turn off and go to somebody else's channel. That's just how I feel about it, okay? And I just thought I'd put that out there. But anyway... Yeah, I watched the uh, uh, little segment where she did the little cha 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 with this uh Brandon character, and uh, I wasn't impressed. I wasn't impressed at all. I was waiting for them to be skipping, you know, like I don't know, like you're running on air or something, skipping, skipping, skipping. Uh, and I just didn't get it. I liked the king the first time she came out when she was in that pink outfit. She was swaying and, and rocking and, you know, made me want to get out there with my big old self. Uh, trying to trace around the room. Okay, with lights and then a long gown and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Woo, that would be a fright. <laughs> Girl, for after five minutes of spinning around, I'd be like, uh, I can't do it. I can't do it. So those who are in shape, those who love to dance, especially the ballroom scene type of dancing, it's cute. But it takes a lot of stamina to hold those positions, hold those poses, and be smiling at the same time. But Kenya was a pageant queen, so she know how to do that real well. Her poise was very much on point. The outfit was okay, you know what I'm saying? But I just didn't like the way she was moving. And, you know, Brandon tried to, you know, make it do what it do. But I don't know. I, I can't say. It just wasn't Kenya's night. Or, you know, the dancing was kind of off. I wasn't feeling it. It's like, you know, she was calculating every move or step in her head. And it wasn't transferring to her body language. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but anyway. She um is struggling from what I hear. Because, like I said, if I can't catch it on my uh, phone, uh, the little excerpt they may have of her. When she's performing her and Brandon, and I ain't pretty much gonna catch it, cause I, you know, I did the same thing with Nene when she was on there. I just didn't really too much care for dancing with the stars, you know, cause I saw it like a remake or a reboot of somebody's career. They don't fell off, and if you really sit and look at the past seasons, these people aren't really being seen that much, or well, they are trying to revitalize their uh, career. And bringing more attention to them to help them in the social media world. Because that's pretty much drives and buzz. Put the buzz out there to keep you definitely being talked about. And uh, then your name is being uh, broadcasted really globally. Especially if you have a lot of commentators out there doing little pieces on certain celebrities. Like where are they now? Or what are they doing after leaving uh, XYZ? project or sitcom or sh whatever show they were uh being featured on you know a movie or you know an actor or actress that hadn't been out in the business for a while they may come back and do shows like dancing with the stars or probably family feud or you know anything that get them back out in the public eye and get traction on their name uh it's what the game is all about but uh 
I heard the cane was pretty much uh, hitting um, the bottom two for the last couple of episodes of Dancing with the Stars. So, it is what it is. <clears throat> but she is a liar when she's saying, you know, that she had to choose. We already know where she would fall to. And I was like, yeah, you'll be right on over there with your uh, attire and and uh, your schemes and planning to who to attack on Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's where you would be because that's where your foundation is when it comes to your advertisement of your businesses as well as getting that revenue to uh, foster more uh, ventures or investments you might want to partake of that's the best platform for you to be on kenya okay but um we can get on into the story that et had wrote up on miss kenya and her reaction to portia williams leaving and marlo hampton being asked to come in as a full-time peach holder kenya was throwing shade talking about, oh really well if portia's happy i'm happy for her you know, everybody needs to be happy. You know, kind of like nice, nasty, passive-aggressive type answering the question. And, you know, she's pretty much putting question marks after everything she says. Even when they ask about, how do you feel about Marlo coming to the team as a full peach holder? So, oh, she coming full time? Like, she playing stupid. <laughs> I'm like, Kenya, girl. Break it down. Break it down. Stop it. You know they're coming. You know Portia's left to do her own show. And I know you know you wish it was your show. But you may get a show. You may get one. Just bide your time. And just calculate the bodies you got to massacre on season 14. And, you know, I wonder. I just wonder, wonder, wonder who who put the book on love. Can you, are you going to try to get rid of Candy now? Because it seems like everybody knew you tend to get rid of a house I'm falling out with. And you just got to sit there and make them the project of your um your skills of dissing them or putting them in the hot seat or making them feel uncomfortable. Okay. I think it's 215 something. I don't know if you want to vote for Kenya because she's in trouble over there. Uh, trying to get her scores up with Dance with the Stars. So Google it. I'm sure you'll find it. Uh, what's her um, code name for you to put in each week so she can stay in the race. All right. But, um. Yeah, she was being very sarcastic, and I got to do something on, um, dang, it was Shamari Moore, not Shamari Moore, Sh Shamari DeVoe, got to do a video on her, and sent, uh, Claudia Jordan talking about, you know, the women that had left, and they kicking it up and stuff, and saying they really want to bang her, they really want to have the ratings back up in the sky they need to have them back on the show i like yeah because your money not flowing real well i know ron is working his ass off over there with new edition trying to you know tour and this that and the third trying to keep y'all afloat i know i know because i don't know if you're doing anything shamari i don't hear that you're doing anything girl so you don't need to be throwing you know dirt don't be throwing rocks at a glass house because it'll come back boomerang back and hit yours and shatter all your stuff over there so i think claudia needs to stay right on over there with fox soul where she needs to be in her own little uh podcast she had with the other women kicking it up and making fun of the other women out there but no claudia i'd rather see if i had to choose between you and shamari i'd rather get shamari another take at it, another bite at the apple or the peach you see what i'm saying the forbidden fruit because she didn't really get a good run um, you know, not like Kim Fields. I think Kim Fields was just testing the water and wanted to get her name back out there because she hadn't been doing that much where it was publicized. But I think she was doing a lot of documenta documentaries and um, producing uh, with her mom, Chip Fields. Um, I think they were doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes because even her mama didn't want her to come on Real Housewives of Atlanta. But she, you know, hey, she wanted to do what it do, see what it did, and then she got there alone pretty much, okay? But... If we go on and talk about Miss Kenya and her reaction to Portia and uh, Portia leaving, of course, and the revolving door bringing um, 
Marla Hampton with some cameos of Nene Leeds coming in. She just wanted to put salt on it all. But she just gave you what she needed to give, which was her passive aggressive <laughs> attitude. And she wants y'all to be, uh, I guess, what do you call it? Uh, hyped in a sense. And see clouded with a little mystery uh, and a little hypeness. With the anticipation of what might happen. So that's what she was giving us. I'm sure Barbara patted her on the head. And said good 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 puppet. Good puppet okay. And um, thank you. For putting that mysterious uh, feel out there. And make people at least want to come see the first episode of season 14. Okay. So she did her job over there. But let's get into it. We have. Uh, who wrote this? Ma Mona Khalif. She works at ET online and she wrote up a cute little article on Miss Kenya Moore and her reactions to Portia Williams leaving the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. She puts it as an exclusive. All right. It says Kenya Moore is opening up about the flood of Real Housewives of Atlanta exits. Moore talked to ET backstage after her tantalizing tango on Monday's Dance with the Stars where she spoke on Portia Williams' departure. From the show and who could be joining next season's cast. I think people, meaning Kenya speaking, uh, should do what makes them happy. And if that makes her happy, meaning Portia leaving the Real Housewives of Atlanta, then good for her. Uh, more says of Portia stepping away from the series, okay? With Cynthia Bailey also leaving Real Housewives of Atlanta. There's plenty of room to shake up next season's cast. And that means some friends to the show may soon be holding a peach. Miss Marlo Hampton, okay. Specifically, who I just said. While their pair have had their share of disagreements in the past, Moore said if the news is true, she'll be happy for her. I mean, she ain't confirming and she ain't denying. She's staying neutral. But can you know uh, Marlo Hampton already got that peach and she coming, girl. She coming. I hope she coming with some firecrackers or, or some type of uh, fireworks because if she ain't, whoo child, that's going to be her first and last uh, season on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, but Going back to the article, it says, oh, I never say never. I just feel like you just never say never. I'll leave it at that. Or oh, I'll leave it there. More said of the Hamptons, uh, uh, Marlo Hampton potentially joining the series. Never say never. I'm happy for, for her too. If that's true. <laughs> King is a hot mess, y'all. But going on with the article, it says, and with rumors swirling that the 50-year-old reality TV star was told to choose between Dancing with the Stars and Real Housewives of Atlanta, it's still to be seen whether or not Moore could be the next one to put down the peach. And I'm like, girl, can you finish put down her money maker hair? She was really uh, trying to get people to uh, talk her up like Phaedra was talking, uh, getting her fan base up to talk her back into the seat in the good graces of... Letting her back on the Bravo franchise. And she did get one door open. So she's close. That's why I said. I don't think Candy going to be there too much longer. Because they got her on the ultimate girls trip with Kenya and Cynthia. And I think Eva was on there. Which I'm still trying to figure out how the hell she got on there. But you know. Hey it is, it is what it is. Okay. Everybody say they don't want to be on Real Housewives of Atlanta. But they sure keep opening these doors. Bravo is putting out there. You know what I'm saying? Not making room for the new people. They got the old folks still there. I'm like It's just like, you know, people that be working when they damn near 70, 80 years old, still going to the job. Like, can you get that up to somebody new, somebody younger? Can you just go retire and, and, and do whatever retired people do? You're too old to be working, coming out the house every day. You know what I'm saying? Do something else. Volunteer your time. I don't know what you should do, but you don't show no need to be working. It, it's, it's a travesty. Go start your own business or something. I don't know, but don't go to keep going to jobs. Because I can't wait to retire. I surely can't. And what I don't have, I just won't have. Okay? Get some time to spend with family, good friends, and just, just be to myself. You know, get more into reading the Bible. You know, doing biblical stuff. Doing help. In the, doing work in the community. You know, to help others up. 
give them wisdom that I've acquired throughout my living. You know, just something to that. But yeah, okay, I just thought I'd put that in there. But if you go on Kenya Moore's Instagram page, she wrote uh, a little, uh, I ain't gonna say article, but uh, it was long. It's long sentences and paragraphs, but we'll just read it. We'll just read it for e efficacy. Okay, it says, at Brandon Armstrong and I danced our hearts out last night. Being in the bottom two was a very humbling experience for me. My fan base is so loyal and amazing and we love you so much. I'm on a journey and hashtag new life Kenya appreciated the life lessons. We will continue to ride, putting all the passion I've got in me. Thank you, Dancing ABC, for this amazing opportunity. I'm in love with you all. To the fans, Team Twirl, Team Twirl Nation, you ain't seen nothing yet. I'm like, okay, Kim. First of all, what is the symbolism of the comparison that you're trying to make with the new life, Kenya? You know, are you trying to be like Porsche with, uh, what is it, Pursuit of Portia? Portia trying to find herself out there. And she has a little show coming now that they are, you know, quiet as a kip and loud as I'm going to speak it. And to fruition, Portia done bypass season one. She going to be doing season two. And they giving her episodes, eight episodes in season one is what I hear, girl. That has to be a banging, a banging start for the fresh new uh, sitcom show she has, I guess you would call it, uh, Pursuit of Portia. Now you want to be like the Pursuit of Kenya and her new life, but you're tagging it, New Life Kenya. Okay, I got you. I got you. If you can't beat them, join them, honey. And if you come to the party late, hey, when you're fashionably late, everybody have eyes on you. So that's right up your alley, Kenya. Do you, do you, boo? But this mess with Dance with the Star, you know, I hate to say it. I don't think you're going to win. No. Because, you know, I just don't think you're going to win, Ken. I mean, I've been just strictly watching you. And then I quickly go and I see the other people. But they have a lot more energy. A lot more passion for the dancing. And Brandon, he definitely is a solid uh, partner. But it, I don't know. It's just something. <sighs> I don't know, Kenya. I don't know. I don't think it's your forte. Acting is your forte. Dancing, not so much. But that's just my opinion. Okay. But um, going back to the article, it says, Well, I guess if there was an ultimatum, I guess we know which one I would choose more. Who's currently competing on the season 30 of Dancing with the Stars shared. I've always wanted to do this show. I'm here. I'm loving every minute of it. I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. Of course, I love doing Housewives and having that opportunity. So, I think it will work itself out. It did work itself out because they gave in, Kenya. The big dogs gave in to you, okay? Because if they put their foot down and you really had to choose my bed, and I'm not a bedding woman, you would have been over there. Okay, you've been over there Real Housewives of Atlanta soaking, pouting, whatever. But that's your bread and butter, and that's where you would have been. That's just my opinion. Okay, my opinion alone. Uh, bring that ginger ale, Aussie. And, and um, cheesecake. <laughs> and get your uh, book, I bought you. <sighs> I had to just bring that in, okay? I know. If you get me, you get all of me, okay? The good, the bad, and the ugly. All right? This is how I roll. All right? And, um, anyway. She goes on to say more who has been improving by the week on dancing competition series told E.T. that she's still learning to trust her partner, Brandon Armstrong. The honest answer is that I don't have a great track record when it comes to men and trusting them. When I have put my trust in them, they kind of ruin it, she explains. And you guys know that I'm going through the force. I'm like, oh, here we go again. And she talking about, oh, uh, she don't trust Brent. I'm like, damn, Kenya, you, you up on a TV, television show where you're dancing. Only thing you have to trust in Brandon is that he don't drop your behind. Or he don't make you miss a beat where you will fall you know, accidentally um, and make yourself look stupid on live TV, girl. That's the only trust you need. You're not trying to marry this man. You're not trying to date him. Or what are you? It's the tea. Tell us the tea. Drop it, girl. Are you interested in this young man? Are you trying to be a cougar? 
<laughs> Girl, let us know something because that would be a storyline. You could bring Brandon on over to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You could be date him on a low low. Girl, it, it, hey, people are doing it every day, all day. Okay, so that's what you want to do. You want to be a cougar girl. Go on and bring Brandon over. We'll accept him. Okay, we know he's a, be your boy toy. Yes, because you're older, much older than him. And, you know, hey, he might like dating older women. I don't know. But for you to say trust and all that, just trust he don't drop your behind. Okay? All right. And then you got the storyline with Mark. I'm so tired of you done dragged it. Put a fork in it. It's done, can you? I don't want to hear no more about Mark. You know, what he wants, what his demands are. You got good lawyers. At least I hope you do. Okay? As long as you got federal parts on your payroll trying to represent you. Because we see how that went with Sheree. All right? She lost that case and, and plenty of others. But that's not here nor there. So, uh, yeah. The storyline with Mark, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to view it. I don't want to see it on TV. Okay, we know he did you wrong and you liked him. Okay, but it's just, it's getting tired. It's getting old. It's stale. Put a fork in it. It's done, can you? So, we're going to move on off of that. But she goes on to say, uh, those feelings are very, very new. And I have to, I have someone, uh, wait a minute, and to have someone come in, I'm guarded. You know, I don't want to relinquish that control, which is a lot of what trusting is about. But the pair is getting there, and they're Brittany Knight Tango earning them a score of 21 out of 30, a sizable improvement over last week's score of all sixes. Oh, six times three is 18. God dog, it can you got 18, girl? But anyway, catch more next week for Disney Week when Dancing with the Stars airs Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, yeah, y'all go and check Kenya out. Y'all vote, vote, vote for her if y'all want her to win. But I want her behind over there on Real Housewives of Atlanta doing some kiki in and stuff like that. Because if I had to sit there and review a show, taking a lot of time out of my time to see what's going on and come back and put it on my YouTube channel and talk about it with the family, it better be worth it. I'm just saying because that takes a lot of your time to sit there and watch and you have to wait for commercials and all that kind of stuff. Woo! Don't disappoint me because I come over here and I drag every last one of y'all. <laughs> every last one of y'all for probably about an hour depending on how long y'all made me sit and wait that whole hour and y'all ain't give me but 10 minutes worth of uh, chuckles and, and, and kikis and stuff. Yes, I would drag you all night long. I'd probably do a whole video on, on every last one of y'all for the whole week. Just talking about that episode that I was very disappointed in. And I can make it last. I can make it last for seven days strong. Okay? Don't try me. Because I would do it. But anyway. That's all I have. You know, King's being shady as usual. We all love it. We've all come to love it. You know, leave it, love it, gotta love it, whatever. But, you know, that's what she does. She gets paid well to do that. And I'm, I'm here for her with doing that. If that's what she chooses to do with her life, her career, this is her choice. It's the choice for anybody to sit and watch that ratchetness whenever they want to partake of it, okay? But um, that's all I got of this video, guys. If y'all like it, love it, gotta have more of this. Yes, I will give it to you. Just let me know in the comments how you felt about, hey, you tell me about how you felt about my commentary. It really doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm still get up here and do what I got to do, what I feel I got to do. Since I'm going to talk to myself, I come out here and talk to you all, okay? I know I got at least five. I got five out there for me, okay? I got five. If I don't have a lot, I have five, okay? But anyway, that's all I have, and I will see y'all next video. Good night.